All right, we'll give Facebook a couple of minutes to get caught up. So hopefully it catches up quickly. Do, 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 do. Hopefully you can see me soon. I got some fabric to show you. Today we got, yesterday and today we got two shipments which is kind of cool. So I did receive the mixology today, which is the honeycomb or hexagons, whichever you want to call it, which is kind of cool. I liked them and they're already on the shelf. So I'm not going to show you those because that's kind of, I think if you've seen one, you've seen them all. We, we kind of get that gist and Tula pink is kind of in the same line, the hexagons. Okay, last week, I think it was late last week or whatever. We got the um, black cat caper from um, Northcott, which is pretty close and on the same idea. It's got some of the same coordinates as the raven claw we got. Was it last year or the year before? So it's kind of like a cat looking out a window with a cute pumpkins. And I have an all over cat face um, fabric, which is really, really cute. And we've got the pumpkins and we've got a white Harlequin um, line. And we have, let's see, a stripe and bats in two different colors. Plus we have a black damask, which looks really nice with this. So I just wanted to show you that because I didn't have to do it video last week. I'm telling you, the amount of fabric that they are shipping is just ridiculous. Um, I already got another email today letting me know that, um, um, what's it called? Uh, we've got another line coming in for Christmas from Benetech. I'll post tomorrow what that's going to be. Um, I just printed out the acknowledgement but nothing else so we've got that um okay first one we're going to do is joyful tidings and i've got two free patterns with that one is a quilt which is really cool this does have a panel but the panel is an advent calendar so this quilt is pretty traditional um and it's a pretty good size it's 76 by 92 so just about a twin but more importantly, because I get asked for this a lot, is a Christmas tree pattern. So this one has um, what looks like ornaments, and it's really kind of cute. I like it. And it's a pretty easy pattern to do. So keep in mind, I always get asked for Christmas tree skirts. Here is the advent calendar. So I've got it folded in half. I'll show you first the, the main, what it's going to look like. So we've got a car with the Christmas tree and Christmas wreaths. And on the bottom here, and we got presents and we even got uh, chickadees or yeah, I think those are chickadees. This is gonna be the advent part and it's got bicycles and snowmen and Christmas penguins and deer and more cars and ice skates and mittens and snowflakes and lanterns and all kinds of cool a sled so it's got all kinds of stuff and on the other side here are the directions which are where oh up here and the additional parts to make the pocket 
it's got a really cute border too. I don't know what I would do with this, but I definitely would do something with this. I don't know if I would add it to the top or the bottom. I don't know, but it's kind of cool. It's got penguins. Isn't that cute watching penguins? And that border is on the top and on the bottom, I think. No, it's only one side. So it's on one side of the border. I don't know where you would add it, but I think it's adorable. It might be something good to make. Um, if you make the advent calendar, we used to do um, placemats with panels, a class. It's pretty simple. It's called, kind of like an ad hoc, ad hoc class. Um, I have to do that again, but this is a fun one. I like it. And then I'm going to show you the coordinates that go with it. And I haven't even opened them yet. Okay. It's been that kind of a few days. All right. So if you're on, let me know. And we can go ooh and ah together. These are already on the website if you're local. I mean, if you're not local. So I don't know how this is going to work. Okay. These are deers and Christmas trees. That looks a little bit better, I think, but they're really, really cute. If you look on Facebook, I have a better picture, but the deer have got little Christmas ornaments and holly hanging off of their antlers. It's really cute. They've got scarves and it's a nice gray, kind of brushed background, almost like, hi, Patty. Hi, Linda. Um, almost like somebody took a paintbrush and just kind of brushed a little bit of paint on it. So the next one. It's a snowman. It's really cute. I like this one. I actually got to play with my dyes a little bit today for the one block wonder. I haven't put anything together, but I've got my pieces all cut already. Now that's all cut at once. So it's a whole block. Isn't that cool? They're all the same. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to play with those a little bit and see how well they package. And it cut up really easy, much easier than if you guys were to try and cut them up yourselves. Hi, Gwen. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see these, but I'm going to be doing a lot of up and down. So we've got snowmen, all kinds of stacked snowmen. Some in top hats, some in um, knit hats and scarves. And they've got some carrying lanterns. So really cute. Uh, we're gonna have to move these because these are gonna get in the way. That's all. I like this one. This one, this line doesn't have any metallics, but I still like it. I think it's really fun, and some of the parts are very elegant. This one is lanterns with poinsettias. Isn't that pretty? On this kind of black, gray, dark black background. It's not really dark black. It's more like um, chalkboard black and gray. I, you know, one of these days I'm gonna sit down and this chair is gonna go whoop, right out from under me. Not gonna be pretty. Listen, it's not funny. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't need any help, especially this close to me going away. Mm -mm. I don't care if I got to drive with a cast on my foot. I'm out of here, people. Not going to be pretty. I'm looking forward to it, though. So in case you don't know, and as a reminder, the shop next week will be closed Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and we'll be back open Friday and Saturday. Barring any disasters. <laughs> All right. This one is the car with the Christmas tree and the wreath all over it. Thank you. On a very light gray background. And I know it's hard to tell, but in the background, 
kind of like a white on this. It looks like snowflakes, but they've got little little blotches of snowflakes, and then they've got bigger, maybe about an inch, inch and a half big white snowflakes on the background. They're really pretty. Next is Christmas stockings. I just can't believe how much fabric they're shipping. It's crazy. Like they, it's like they hit a switch and everybody and their brother is shipping out at the full time. Like everybody finally got their shipments in and they're just shipping as much as possible. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, Linda. Let me tell you, I need a few days off. This one is Christmas stockings with Christmas bowers and bows and the, the snow uh, falling in the background on the gray and the socks, the stockings have snowflakes on them. They're really cute in dots. <clears throat> I am definitely looking forward to some time off. And this is the last one in this line, which is a scene. Yep, Karen is definitely kidnapping me. It's all her fault. We're gonna have fun. All right, this one here is a snowman scene. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I'll bring it closer, but we've got little groups of snowmen all over the place with trees everywhere. This is on a white background and just different clusters of snowmen. Okay, that one's there. Now the next one is dinosaurs. This is, oh, you know what? I forgot something, go figure. I'll be right back. I forgot the panel. It goes with the dinosaurs. See, I always forget something. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I always forget something. I swear I can't. I would forget my head if it wasn't attached. Okay, this one is called Tyrannochorus. Who knows? Maybe they thought they were, it's, you know, a group or something, but they're very realistic looking and it's been digitally printed. So that's the panel with T-Rex and um, this, forget what other one this, this is, there's this one here, there's this one and two T-Rexes. Plus they've got a couple more over here. So they're kind of cool. And there's a pattern with this one too. These are all from blank. Yes. No, Patty, I haven't seen that one. That's a new one on me. I see, I get a lot of fabric though, but I see pretty much most of the, the major um, blank quilt, quilting, Studio E, Quilting Treasures, uh, Free Spirit, Northcott, Benetex, um, Quilting Treasures. I mean, I see most of the basics. This is the pattern and it's actually got a couple of different options. So we've got the quilt, okay? 
Then we've got this. I know it looks like a table runner, but it's actually a, for a body pillow and a gaming pillow. So if you've got young teenagers, gaming is huge. So this works really, really well. I agree too. I definitely need some time off. Okay. All right. So let's go to the first one. This one is T Rex collage. I am tired. I need it bad. Hope everybody's doing good. All right. This, this dinosaur line to me is pretty, um, I think they're really accurate. Like you were taking a picture almost. Um, and they call this the T-Rex. One thing I will say is I didn't realize T-Rex came in that many colors. So I don't know if, if it's that accurate that way, but it's kind of fun. See all the different colors of T-Rexes? I like this one. Oh my kid, I like them all. I picked them. <laughs> now I got another one. <laughs> This one is fun. They call this, um, what do they call this one? It doesn't name on this one. Um, I don't think it's the patch, but it might be. The nice thing and the fun thing about this that the kids are going to love. First, I've got some dinosaurs that most, a lot of people know. Some that you may not, but the nice thing is they have the name of each dinosaur underneath. This isn't a panel, this is by the yard. So let's see how many repeats we've got. Um, wow, there is a lot and I don't, so far I haven't gotten to a repeat. So how do you like that? Mm -hmm. Bye, Fran. All right, that's finally what I think is the repeat. So we're talking probably close to two yards to get everything that's on here all the dinosaurs. So we'll start here. Oops, there we go. And Two yards will get you a, the repeat. So that's a pretty big repeat, much bigger than I've seen in a very long time. And it's not a panel, which is unheard of. I've got a ton and I'm only showing you one side because the other side, you know, the fold has got even more. It's pretty cool. It's got a lot that I've never seen. Didn't even know the names of. Some of them you'll know if you've watched any of those movies. But there are a ton of dinosaurs on here. I think any child, not just the boys, because my granddaddy likes dinosaurs too 
would love this quote. Oh, you've been working on the black cat capers, yes. And your other package went out yesterday. And this is an uh, dinosaur toss, which has got just all different dinosaurs on the black background tossed all over. So they're gonna be the same that, that are on the, the other fabric, not as many different ones than on that patch or that squared, the block one, but it's pretty cool. All right. Got one more dinosaur print, and then we've got three blenders to go with it. This one's kind of like a smaller version of the blocked one, and it's not so formal as far as everything has sashing squared and all, but it's the same kind of idea, and it doesn't have the text. I don't think the repeat on this one, yeah, the repeat on this one is only, put it this way, there to there. So it's not that big. So this one doesn't have any of the names, but it's got them more in a kind of natural setting, if you will. And then I'm not going to open all of these, I don't think. Maybe I will. I don't know. These are kind of cool. Well, we have it in green. Kind of like a lime green, but I really like this gray. This gray and the black kind of remind me of Toscana or um, like old fabric or old paper. It's got like kind of water spots and veining. And I don't know, I'm hoping I can show you, but it's kind of cool. It's got a lot of texture to it. You see? Isn't that pretty? I really, really like this. I think it's going to give it a lot of uh, anything you put this in. It'll give it a lot of character. So you'll get a print without it being a print, if that makes sense. I guess I'll have to open them all just to show you. And again, these are all from Blank Studios. They do, they kind of have that distressed look, which is kind of cool. There's certain times when you want that, they almost look water damaged. That's the green. Black, I really, really like this black. And they have character. So obviously I haven't been doing as many videos. I'm trying to, but we've just gotten so much fabric in. I mean, this is just one shipment. This doesn't even include, this was one shipment that was three boxes. This doesn't include what I got in for Mixology, or last week with the shimmer, uh, the fro shimmer frost and the black cat caper, and it's just like never ending lately. Here is the black, which I really, really like. And cool, got a lot of movement and texture on it. All right, that's it for tonight. That's enough, though. Anybody have any questions? Because if not, I'm going home. And then I'll come in tomorrow to move all this stuff around. We've got um, Kathy Maturi here tomorrow morning at nine for um, garments. And then at one o'clock, we have Linda here, Linda um, Crawford for. Um, God, what's the name of that bags? Momex, Momexa and Lomexa for that class tomorrow.
I need some sleep. I'm just not doing really well with sleep lately. Today was 4.45. I was up and eyes wide open like somebody had hit a big bell over my ear. Don't ask me what woke me up. It was just something woke me up and that was it. It was all done. All right, everybody, you know where I am. All of these with the exception of the blenders. I don't think I put the blend, the three blenders on the website, but all of these, the advents and the dinosaurs, the joyful tiding is already on the website. Even the mixology is on the website. I've been pretty good about keeping up with that, I think. So, all right, everybody. See you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great evening. Let me know if you need anything. Have a great night, everybody.